Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of comparing and ordering numbers. This is standard 4.2c in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 30 of the 2017 release star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we've got four hippos here that are listed at the zoo, hippo W, X, Y, and Z. They're all very similar, and we need to find them in order from least to greatest. And you notice we've got them uh, kind of in a strange configuration here. Do we just have them listed with all of these less than signs? And really, we're looking for the one that would come third in the list. So we've got to find them in, in least to greatest, and then we've got to find the third hippo. And that's kind of interesting here. And so let's see if we can figure out which, uh, which hippo would come third. Well, let's start with a place value chart. So let's, let's just build these numbers here. And I'm going to put like a double line right here because I'm going to use this to separate my ones period from my thousands period. So I'm just going to put, this is my one thousands. And then over here we'll do my, my ones period, which is my ones, tens, hundreds. And this is just my ones period. Normally we don't say this name here, but we will say thousands. So if we're just going to start our numbers, hippo W here, since they all go to the thousands, it's got 3,894. That double line is going to kind of serve as my comma, so I'm not going to need that. 3,648. I've got Y, which is 3,699. And then Z is 3,806. Now, when we are looking for the least weight, we're going to start with that. We're going to build our least to greatest before we figure out what comes third is we are going to start with the largest place value here. Since they all go to the same place value, this is where we're going to start is right here in my thousands spot. If for some reason there was a number that only went to the hundreds or the tens, then those numbers would be smaller than anything that goes to the thousands. But we all go to the same spot. And as you can see, it's a three. Every single one of these hippos has a three in the thousands spot which means I can't figure anything out just by looking at the thousand spots. So then you move to the next spot to the right, and that is your hundreds spot. And take a look here. I've got two numbers. I'm looking for the least, so I'm looking for two numbers that are smaller, and I've got two sixes. My X and my Y, both of them could possibly be my smallest one, but they're both sixes. I know it's not W and Z which means I need to go to the next spot. So I'm down to my third spot here, my 10th spot, and take a look at what I've got here. This four is smaller than the nine. Now, yes, this zero is smaller than both, but remember, I'm only looking at my X and my Y hippos because they have a six in the 100 spot. So really, it's just between those two X and Y hippos. And that four is smaller than the nine, so there is my smallest number, 3,600. 48. That's my smallest number. That's X. And I'm going to do it like they do. I'm just going to put a less than sign right there. And then next, we're going to have to go back to this Y. It's 3,699. So that's my order right there so far. Now, let's go back out to figure out the smaller one between W and Z. And you notice we've got, we got two eights. So they both have a three in the thousands and an eight in the hundreds, which means we're gonna to have to go to the 10 spot again. And this time it's pretty clear it's that zero is a lot smaller than the nine. So Z comes next. So it's gonna be 3,806. And that Z, which is my third hippo. And then I've got 3,894. That's X and that's my biggest one. So. Uh, so we are looking, that's W. So what we are looking for is we're looking for hippo Z. And it looks like they've got everything in order just like we do, which is good. So our answer here is going to be J.